Hello PC gamers and welcome to another guides video. Today we're going to be looking at our top tips for getting started in Arcane's latest FPS still raid, Deathloop. You'll be hunting for new powers, solving puzzles and avoiding permadeath as you try to break the loop or save it. So let's get started. Interacting with everything you can in Deathloop is one of the easiest ways to gather new information, weapons and gear. There are levers to pull, guns to collect, trinkets to find and other secrets to uncover. You can also kick everything in sight which can reveal new pathways, plus it's also really satisfying so go ahead and roundhouse everything the light touches. Everything you learn in a previous loop stays with you as you progress, even if you die. You can learn more about enemies by focusing on them, revealing what weapons and kit they have, whether they know you're in the area and more. You'll also be able to interact with consoles to learn more information, like the one in Colt's apartment. There are loads of weapons to discover in Deathloop, but for the most part, you'll switch between wielding a blade and a gun. You'll also be able to pick up a few grenades in the opening mission and the Hackamajig tool that you can switch to at any point. You can also dual wield weapons if you want to go in literally guns blazing. Guns differ in verity and are colour coded and the best guns are usually hidden off the beaten track or dropped by challenging enemies. Trinkets can be added to weapons to improve certain aspects, such as reload speeds and recoil. You can also equip character trinkets to give Colt and Juliana's abilities a boost, like the double jump you'll pick up at the start. Just remember to equip them before heading out. Slabs grant you abilities such as teleporting. Visionaries drop slabs when you kill them, so they're worth hunting and collecting as you try to break the loop. Ok, so dual wielding SMGs isn't for you, instead you want to be stealthy. You move silently while crouching and can take down enemies from behind by either snapping their necks, using the melee weapon or the nail gun for long range stealth fun. You can also throw bottles to distract enemies and listening in conversations can reveal useful hidden details. Setting traps is also a good way to take out enemies stealthily or you can climb to a vantage point and lob a grenade at them. If you're killed, you'll have two more chances to go a few seconds back in time and remain invisible for a moment. This means if you're after a specific target or weapon, you'll have a second and even third chance before permadeath hits you and you lose all your gear. Knowledge stays with you after you properly die in the sense it'll be physically logged, but weapons and gear will be dropped and you'll need to go again to gather them back. Revisiting areas at different times of the day will reveal more secrets and opportunities. Some visionaries will only appear at night in particular districts for example, so learn as much as you can in each cycle. The Hackamajig lets you hack electronic devices such as sensors, turrets and security doors. They can be disabled, opened and generally interfered with with this handy bit of kit. You can also hack enemy antennas, which can lead the way to something exciting or allow you to call off enemy reinforcements. And that's it! Those are our top tips for breaking the loop. If you found this guide helpful, let us know by liking, subscribing and hitting the bell button. For more Deathloop guides, head to PCGamer.com